what was your best New Year's Eve? Yo, that you've ever had. Doesn't matter where, where, but basically, what was your best New Year's Eve? Well, the New Year's Eve about two or three years ago, um, we were in Mauritius as well, and my boyfriend at the time was with us. But all my friends had been saying, you know, he's definitely going to propose. You know, this is the year he's going to do it on New Year's Eve, and uh, you know, just be prepared. Um, yeah, stick by him on New Year's Eve. Blah blah. blah. So New Year's Eve came and yeah, I stuck close by him and I was just convinced I had my nails done. I was convinced he was about to propose. Then he ended up getting drunk. Oh my and God. <laughs> it didn't mountain. happen. So oh uh, the God. next morning, you know, I was texting my friends just saying, you know, it didn't happen. It's not going to happen. I was a little bit disappointed. Um, and then about four days later, it did happen. So okay. uh, I felt like a bit of a fool. Eve. So no Christmas jumper. You no, can make no. your own one. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've thought about that, you know. I've, I've thought about that, but... Stitch a few bobbles on yeah, you and... made your one, yeah. did you? Get a, get a few that's, lights. That's, I'm probably, that's probably the best thing to do. Because and you know I, what? It'll be, it'll be unique. No one else will have it. Yeah. It'll stand see, that's out. That's ideas in my head now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can put like fairy lights going through and then have a little yeah. switch. So you'll be... A little star. Can you please sing for me? <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Do you know what, the, the fondest New Year's memories that I have is of um, my dad used to take us to Christchurch, the bells. Absolutely. The bells. That was such a big deal back then and that's many years ago. And he would have taken as many children off our street and he'd bring us all down to the bells and it'd be just brilliant. And oh, as a child it was so exciting to be out at that hour of the night. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And everybody was all, you know, hugging and kissing and wishing everybody Happy New Year. Singing and all also, time. Yeah, on, on our street people used to come out. Yeah. They'd all come out as soon as 12 o'clock and everyone would dance on the street and some, someone would have a, like a house party of some sort. So, Excellent. Yeah, I have fond memories of when I was young. You see, you have four trees in the house. Christmas trees? Four Christmas four. trees. Four? Yes. Yeah. Stop. A like real four. four? Four, you know, well, four full big trees, yeah. There's one in the front room, there's one in the back room. Why? And then that one that, was, that you can see there through the window, there's a blue one. Because my youngest fella, he's, he's, he's autistic, so she does it for blue. That's her excuse, and that's only an excuse. That's she, not what she, she loves it herself. She just does it because she's mental. <laughs> so, at the blue one. And then there's one up at the top of the stairs in the landing. And that one puzzles me, because I'm thinking, is that for burglars or something so they can find a way around? Because <laughs> why would you want a tree at the top of your landing? I'll teach landing. you how to say Santa Claus in Finnish. How's that? Yola Bukki. Yola Bukki. There you go. You just say, I want to go see Yola Bukki and they'll take you there. They'll point say, me no, in the Bella. right direction. I'm Big John. That's a good time of the year, you know. And it's, it, the great thing about it is, um, you know, you, you see a difference in people. You know, you see, you see it, it, it's, it's like, you know, when you get a real warm day in the summer, everybody's happy, happy. Yeah, it's you so know, true. and you get exactly the same at Christmas time. You know, you see people in town and they're, they're going around that buzz and they keep promising. Like we're, we're saying it now, James must be saying it five or six years now to the lads. We'll, we'll all, we'll do this, you know, the 12 pubs and the Christmas jumpers. <laughs> and, and then something keeps coming up and we don't end up doing it, you know. I think it might be something to do with the fact that we can't find jumpers to fit. <laughs> <laughs>